Good morning. It's Miss Paige here with your morning message for the day. Boys and girls, I am so excited to be starting off the week with you. Let's get right into it. Let me put my microphone away. Miss Paige is being silly. Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Arvelous Sunday. That can't be right. Arvelous Sunday. I know that when we usually do this, it says Marvelous Monday. And I know that the beginning sound of each of those words is mm, Marvelous Monday. I need to think, what letter says mm? Yeah, M. So I'm going to write the letter M, boys and girls. Now we can read this sentence with the most excellence. Good morning. Today is Marvelous Monday. We did it. Now, we're going to the next session where we have to write the missing blend. A blend is where you have two or more consonants that are put together, but you can still hear each of the sounds that the consonants make in the blend. To the side here, I have the blends that we will be using for today, but we just have to figure out where to put them so that they fit in the word and match the picture. The first consonant blend I have is SW, and together SW says SW, because S says S and W says W, and together they say SW. Okay, the next consonant blend I have is PER. That is P, P, and R, R, together that says her. And the last consonant blend that I have is S, that is S, S, and N, N, together that say S. So now let's look at these pictures and the words so we can fit the consonant blend in the word correctly. This first picture here is of a swan. Everybody say swan. Now, what consonant blend do you hear at the beginning of swan? Do you hear sw, pr, or s at the beginning of swan? You hear sw or the consonant blend sw. So I'm going to write sw. Very good. Now let's read this word together, class. Swan. Very good. Now, this next consonant blend that goes here should say fur because we want this word to say prince so that it also matches the picture that we have. Which consonant blend says pr? Hmm, I think it's pr. Pr together. Pr. Hmm, says, very good boys and girls. So I'm going to write P and R. And together they say P, which makes this word say Prince. Last one, this is a picture of a snake. Snake, a slithery snake. Which consonant blend do we hear at the beginning of snake? S, S, oh, I know, S, and N. And together, they say S, which helps this word say snake. Excellent job. Now, we've been practicing vowel sounds for a very long time. But most recently, we've been working with long vowel sounds. And we know that long vowel sounds make the vowel say their name. So let's go through our long vowel sounds, shall we? The vowel A has a long vowel sound that says A. The vowel E has a long vowel sound that says E. The vowel I has a long vowel sound that says I. The vowel O has a long vowel sound that says O. And the vowel U has a long vowel sound that says U. 
So when I say the words that go along with the pictures here, I want you to be listening for the long vowel sounds. A, E, I, O, and U, okay? This is a picture of a bone, b o n. Do you hear a long vowel sound in that word? I hear the long vowel sound o. So I'm going to circle the bone, okay? This is a picture of a hut, hut, hut. Do you hear a long vowel sound? I don't hear a long vowel sound. So I'm not gonna circle that one. Let's go to the next one. Jeep, j-e-e-p, jeep. Do you hear a long vowel sound in that word? Yeah, I hear e in jeep. So I'm gonna circle the jeep. So boys and girls, we have two pictures here that have long vowel sounds. We have the bone and the jeep, okay? Make sure you always remember your long vowel sounds when we're working with long vowels. A, E, I, O, and U, okay? Looking at this math section here, if you have your math journal or your notebook, please go ahead and get that out because you can use your journal to help you draw dots, just like we would during math time to help us figure this out, or you can use your fingers to help you too. So I wanna count how many dots I have, and then in these boxes to the right, I'm going to write the number that goes along with whatever it's asking for, okay? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I need to write the number that's the same as this picture. And I counted nine dots, so what number am I going to write? Nine, very good. Now, I need to figure out what nine and four more is, okay? So I'm going to start with the number nine and I'm going to hold up four fingers and I'm going to count to see what number I stop at when I count four more. So I'm going to say nine, hold up my four fingers, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So that means nine and four more is what? 13. So I'm going to write the number 13. Then I have the number nine, but I have to take away four or I have to show four less. And remember, when you're doing less, that means you're taking away. So I'm going to hold up nine fingers and I'm going to take away four, okay? One, two, three, four. So I had nine fingers up and I took away four so how many fingers do I have now? Five. So nine and four less is five. Okay, say it with me. Nine dots is the same as the number nine. Nine and four more is 13. Nine and four less is five. Excellent job. Let's go to the next one. We have one, two, three, four, five triangles. So what number is going to be the same as five? That's right, five. So I'm going to write here the number five. Now, I need to show four more than five. So I have five, and then I'm going to add four more. I'm gonna show four more. So here's five, and here's four more. How many is that? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five and four more is nine. All right, boys and girls, last one. We need to show five and four less. 
So I'm going to hold up five fingers, five fingers, and I'm going to take away four because I remember that whenever I hear that word less, that means I'm taking away, okay? So I have five and I'm going to take away four fingers. So let me take away four fingers. One, two, three, four. How many fingers are left? One. So that means you get a good thumbs up for counting with me. Go ahead, boys and girls. I'm going to write the number one. <laughs> Ms. Paige is being silly. I'm going to write the number one because five and four less is one. Okay? Let's say it all together. Five triangles is the same as the number five. Five and four more is nine. And five and four less is one. Now, if you don't already have your journal, I need you to get your journal because we're going to do some writing before we end today, okay? Our prompt is, what are some things you need to bake? So I want you to go ahead and start thinking before we think of some, before we write out some things that we would need to bake a cake. Think about what you need to bake a cake, okay? When you get your journal, I want you to write your stem. This is your sentence stem. I need blank to bake a cake. Now, what are some things that you might need to bake a cake? Well, you definitely need some flour, some cooking flour, not the flowers that grow in the ground. So I'm going to write flour. You also might need eggs. So I'm going to write eggs. What are some other things that we might need to bake a cake? You said milk, so I'm going to write milk. Milk. And something else we might need. Ah, what makes a cake sweet? Sugar. So I'm going to write sugar. Sugar. All right, we have four things here. Let me fix my letter R. We have four things here that we could put in our sentence stem to write a sentence about what we would need to bake a cake. Ms. Page likes sugar, so I'm going to write sugar here in my sentence stem. But you choose the word or if you think of something else, you can add it to that sentence stem and then I want you to draw me a picture, okay? So make sure that you're writing in your journal every day when we do morning meeting. Your teachers are gonna be looking to see, calling mom, calling dad to check your journal. So make sure that you're writing. But also draw us a pretty picture to go along with what you write. Again, if you need help, Please don't hesitate to call your teachers or ask your mom and dad to help to call us to help you. Remember, we love you so much, and we're going to get through this working with excellence day by day. Love you guys so much. Talk to you later. Bye.